In this video, we're going to take a look at an awesome new addition to Formulator Pro. The Stripe subscription add-on opens up a world of possibilities in how you take payments through a website. Let's take a look at how we collect subscription payments with Stripe on a form. First, we need to head over to the add-on section of Formulator and install and activate the Stripe add-on. After that, go to Forms and either create or edit a form you already have. I have already set up a form on this website where I want to take subscription payments for different gym membership periods, monthly, quarterly, and annually. If we go to the form editor, we can see I've already added all the information you expect to see in a subscription type form, along with the drop down to select the subscription period. All I need to do is add the Stripe field and then edit its settings. In the settings tab, we'll head to the payment plan section and now start adding the different plans we want. I will give the plan a name to match one of my drop down items and choose a subscription. Under the plan amount, we can choose either a fixed or variable amount, and that is the same with quantity. For the monthly plan, I will add $50. We choose the billing cycle in days, weeks, months or years. For this plan, I can go with a one month billing cycle. We can choose to offer a trial period if we want. I will add a seven day trial to this plan. To connect it to my drop down selection, I need to head to the conditions tab on this plan and add the condition for when the user selects that item in the drop down. We can now add as many plans as we need to this Stripe field. When you've added all your plans, save the form and the plans will be automatically added to your Stripe account. Under the advanced tab, if you enable billing details, then you can choose what customer information is added to each payment and subscription in Stripe. I want to send the customer's last name, email address and billing address. You can also use the metadata area to add any additional information that you need to be sent to your Stripe account. In this case, I will send the customer's phone number too. Let's now publish the form and take a look at what it looks like once customers have subscribed to this service. In Stripe, if we look at products, we can see the products we added in Formulator. Under Customers, we can see the customers who have signed up and the details they added to the form. If we look at subscriptions, we can see those details are there too, like when the subscription was created, the trial period end date, and any invoices. That was our quick overview of the new Stripe subscriptions feature in Formulator Pro. Give it a try now.